In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Mont Bell Plasma 1000 jacket. It is seriously lightweight. I mean, really, it is ultra light, and we're really excited to dive into all the details in this video. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Mont Bell Plasma 1000 down jacket review. First of all, the lightweight nature of this jacket is incredible and it is hard to match with other jackets on the market. I mean, this thing is so lightweight, it basically just floats in the air. Our medium size comes in at just 4.8 ounces and that's about half the weight of our previously reviewed Patagonia Micro Puff jacket. And that's pretty incredible when you can cut the weight in half and pretty much still get the same warmth out of the jacket. At the time of this review, the Mont Bell Plasma Jacket is available in three different colors. We have primary blue as the first, then we have black and garnet, which is pretty much a red color. Now we're not sure why it's called primary garnet or secondary blue or tertiary black, but that blue is primary blue. From a branding perspective, you're going to have one Mont Bell logo on the front of the jacket. Overall, we think the aesthetic is pretty good. We would typically go with a black jacket for travel just because it's a little more subdued, especially in an urban environment. However, for this one, we wanted to check out the blue and see how that felt. Overall, we think this jacket is pretty slick, but aesthetic taste is always in the eye of the beholder. So we pulled our Instagram audience over at Pack Hacker. So be sure to go follow us if you wanna be involved in future polls. We'd certainly appreciate it because we love getting the general consensus for the look on things from a bunch of different people versus just kind of my own opinion and our team members' opinion because we find that data really interesting. So be sure to go follow us over at Pack Hacker to get involved in that for future. The nylon is Mont Bell's Ballistic Airlight Nylon, which according to their website, uses a highly technical production process to create extremely fine, super thin threads. These threads are then woven into ultralight gossamer fabrics that share the same characteristics as ballistic. One and a half times more abrasion resistance than other similar weight fabrics, and it boasts three times the tear strength of nylons that are almost 20% heavier. We haven't really confirmed and tested the tensile strength side by side with others because we don't want to ruin the jackets that we have. However, in our two months use of durability testing so far, it's held up well and there's not a lot of aesthetic dings and or holes forming across the jacket. So, so far, so good. One thing to consider about most jackets in this category is that they typically sacrifice lightweight for durability. So they use lighter weight materials that maybe aren't quite as strong, but still kind of hold up pretty well. And then they really kind of hone in and drive in on just keeping it lightweight and very warm for the size that it is. Since we typically try to travel as lightweight as possible, overall, we think this is a good trade-off and we take a little bit less durability for more lightweight. Wrapped inside of that 7D nylon is 1000 fill power goose down. Fill power is a measurement relating to the volume in cubic inches that an ounce of down will fit into. A lot of top shelf jackets will typically use 800 to 900 and that's plenty. However, Mont Bell really pushed it with 1000 in this jacket and the warmth to weight ratio shows. Just a quick note on the down that Mont Bell produces, they only utilize down plumes and feathers collected as a byproduct of waterfowl raised to meet the demands of the food industry. So the treatment is about as humane as it gets for down feathers. We understand that some people may not wanna use any goose feathers and that's completely fine as well. If that's the case for you, we recommend taking a look at our reviews on the Patagonia Micro Puff and the Patagonia Nano Puff. Both of those jackets are lightweight, highly compressible, and they use synthetic down like Primaloft, which is a pretty good warmth to weight ratio fabric as well. All of these materials come together and the jacket kind of feels like a plastic bag or something like that. There's a bit of crinkle to it. It feels like a little stiff in some areas. So you can just hear how it sounds. This isn't the most positive thing, but an observation nonetheless. The exterior is coated with DWR, which is gonna help with that additional weather resistance. However, if you do plan to wear this in inclement weather or heavier rain, we definitely recommend grabbing a rain shell that you can wear over the top of this on the outside, as this thing isn't really meant to be a rain jacket and it will soak through and start to affect the down unless there's a layer above it to repel the moisture. 
A durable number three YKK zipper has been selected for the main zipper and it's lightweight and strong as well. So a great choice from Mont Bell there. Lastly, there's a very unique sewing pattern on this jacket as well. They implement as little threading as possible to keep the down in place, but also stay lightweight. This actually adds up to quite a bit of thread and stitching when you're considering the entirety of the exterior of the jacket. So a lot of thread is saved by strategically knitting like this and it locks the warmth in as well. The excellent warmth to weight ratio is what makes this jacket really great for extended one bag travel. After testing, we found the ideal temperature range to be from about 35 degrees to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. With the right layering strategy, this can be your only jacket that you take with you on extended one bag travel. If you have enough clothing to layer with it as well, it can get you through the coldest temperatures. At the base, we have one woolen prints merino long sleeve crew neck. Then we have the icebreaker long sleeve shifter hoodie. Then the Mont Bell plasma jacket, then for any rain or inclement weather, the Patagonia Storm Racer. Overall, this jacket is a trimmer fit. I typically wear a medium and all my clothes are pretty fitted, so medium works well even with all those layers underneath. However, your mileage may vary. If you like to wear baggier clothes, be sure to account for that in your layering strategy. Might be good to go a size up higher than you normally would. The end of the sleeves feature a tapered elastic end to help lock the warmth in and keep the sleeve in place. Also to note, there is a piece of slightly stretchy paracord-like material that you can use to hang the jacket up on a hook or just anywhere else that you need to store it. The jacket is compressible via the included stuff sack that we have here. However, it is not attached to the jacket, which is not ideal for storage or keeping these things together. Some other jackets of this size and this compressibility will also self stuff into a pocket. However, the Mont Bell Plasma 1000 doesn't even have any pockets to do that in and you can't even really hack it either. And you heard that right, no pockets on this jacket at all. Having pockets on a jacket is nice, especially if it's your exterior layer. Now, if you're wearing this as a mid layer, not as big of a deal, but on the exterior, it's just nice to have pockets. It's good if you wanna keep your hands warm or just store additional items in there. But this is the trade-off you get for the extreme ultralight weight that Mont Bell is going for here. They don't have to use two extra zippers for pockets on each side. They don't have to reinforce with extra stitching and extra fabric. So that's a trade-off that you're gonna get with a jacket like this. At the time of this review, I've been testing the Mont Bell Plasma 1000 for about two months of on and off use. The great thing about using a jacket like this is the extreme lightweight and the actual down at the 1000 power fill kept me really warm as I was using it. It's super helpful for packing light and especially great if you have an exterior rain shell to use as well. Not much to report in terms of durability issues and even with that lighter weight fabric, so far the jacket has held up well and hasn't really gotten snagged on anything. There's really no small holes forming or things that need repair or any fraying or anything like that. So very happy with the quality of this so far in the testing. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, this is one of the best warmth to weight ratio jackets out there on the market today. It is highly compressible and lightweight, which is great for one bag travel. The design is very considered and it's been great to see Mont Bell's strategy on how to keep this thing lightweight. Moving on to some of the cons, it is not self compressing, which means you need a special stuff sack and you have to keep track of that and your jacket, which isn't ideal. There are no pockets on this thing, but that's a concession that's been made to accommodate for lower weight. The less heavy duty material requires more gentle care than that in some other jackets. Overall, Mont Bell really pushes the technology on what a jacket can do with their Plasma 1000 down jacket. It's extremely lightweight with a good warmth to weight ratio. Sure, you can get away with a slightly heavier, less compressible and cheaper jacket. However, if you're really looking to optimize space and weight, the Plasma 1000 is an excellent choice. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Mont Bell Plasma 1000 down jacket. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for our newsletter and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video. Jacket, seriously, seriously. <laughs> No jackets on this pocket. Put your hands in to keep them warm when they're not in use. <laughs> hands are in use.